So this is the eyes palette. <laughs> and then this is the eyes palette also. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a haul for y'all today and I'm calling this a Black Friday haul. It's a belated Black Friday haul just because I was waiting for things to come in the mail and needed to get around to filming it. So I've got it for you today. So I'm calling it a Black Friday haul, but really it's sort of like an all the things haul. It's like the week of Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving and Black Friday and Cyber Monday and like all the amazing sales haul is really what it is. So we've got some fashion things, some jewelry things, some makeup-y things, all at amazing prices, and yeah, just gonna do a little haul. So let's get to it. Okay, so first off, I got this little palette from Lime Crime. I haven't ordered anything from Lime Crime in a very long time, but this was on sale, I think for $10. And if you ever played with Polly Pocket, this is what this totally reminds me of. This is the Pocket Candy Pressed Shadow Palette, and this one is in Pink Lemonade. Let me take it out and show it to you. It's so darn cute. It's actually a little bit bigger than I was expecting it to be. I thought it was going to be really tiny, but it's actually like a pretty good size. I mean, it is kind of a, a pocket palette because it's not a huge palette, but it's definitely bigger than I thought it would be. It looks really pretty. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Love the packaging on it, so I cannot wait to play with that. It's adorable. And again, I, I think it's originally like $24 and it was on sale for, I think, $10. So great price. I ordered some things from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. I've really been impressed with the things that I've tried from them already. Um, I didn't realize that I was buying a bundle. I went back and looked and it said bundle, so it's totally my bad. For some reason, I thought I was getting a palette. I thought I was getting the Berry Glam palette, but it's actually the Berry Glam bundle. So I just need to put this in a palette. So this is the Berry Glam bundle. So you get a pretty matte purpley shade, a matte taupey shade, kind of like a rosy taupe a really pretty pressed glitter. Oh, this is so beautiful. And then a really pretty matte purpley shade. And then I also got one other pressed glitter. Um, on this site, it did say that this is not FDA approved for the eyes. So I didn't quite read, I, I was apparently just not on my A game for actually reading information that day. So I don't know if I'm, I'm probably not gonna use this on my eyes. If it doesn't say it's cleared for the eyes, then I, I probably won't, but look how pretty it is. Really pretty pressed glitter. This is like a, a taupey, um, silvery sort of a glitter, but then it's got some coppery shades in there too. Just stunning. So really, really like her products. I think they're nice quality and she's got a, like a lot of really pretty things on her uh, site. I did get the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Signs palette. Look at this big old palette. This is so pretty. This is what I have on my eyes today. Gorgeous collection of colors. I really like the quality of the first Zodiac one. So I definitely wanted to get this one. I mean, these are just like, wow. Like, wow quality, such a nice formula. These are some really fun shades in this one too. So I am so excited about this palette. It's a good one. Let me go ahead and show you the fashion things because I'm making myself nervous having clothes sitting in my lap when I've got makeup on my hands because I tend to just wipe the makeup onto my pajama pants. So if I forget that I've got something in my lap, sometimes I tend to just wipe on whatever is in my lap. If it's a, a shirt or if I'm wearing nice pants, I forget and yeah. So all of my pajama pants pretty much have makeup stains on them. So there's that. Okay, so fashion-y things. So um, New York and Company was having an awesome sale. So I got several of these sweaters. So they look like this. What I really liked about these, let me show you a different color so you can see it a little bit better. Um, can you see it with the maroony shade a little bit better? So it's got a pretty kind of scoopy neck, kind of a wide neck. So I'm gonna wear it off the shoulder. And then it's got a little cuffed arm and it's not, um, super long sleeves to it. And it's kind of a little bit of a dolman sleeve and it's a little bit slouchy of a style. It's very cute. I like it because it looks a little bit um, unstructured and uh, just a little bit looser. So I first bought the red because they were it was on sale for $20 and then they went on sale for $10. So then I bought the maroon and the black. So I have the red, I have the maroon, and I have the black. I love New York and Company. They have really good sales, so I watch them often. So if you like sales, if you like nice quality clothes, but at great prices, 
New York and Company for sure. I think I found my new favorite skinny jeans and y'all know that I love jeans so that's a big statement but I ordered a couple of things from Abercrombie and Fitch. They were having a great sale and I've since ordered a few more pairs because I like these so much. So I have a favorite of the two but I'll go ahead and mention this one to you. Um, so this is the Simone High Rise Super Skinny and this is a um, not distressed sort of a wash to it. So here is this one. So these are super high rise. I mean, they really like suck in and they are very kind of structured. So if you like high rise skinny jeans, then I think you would really like the Simone. Um, but they're just, they're, they're no joke high rise. I do really like them, but I like these better. So these are the Harper super skinny. And these I got in a distressed sort of a, um, rinse finish I don't even know what the word is but I got them in the distressed version <laughs> so that it says that these are they describe them online as low rise they're really really not they are for sure a mid rise like when I'm sitting down they come above my belly button when I'm standing up they're just below my belly button so I love the rise on them like it's that really comfortable rise where you don't have to you know, watch when you bend over, but it's not super duper high. I like high rise jeans too, but I think that this is just kind of a perfect in the middle sort of a rise. So I love the rise on them. I love how they fit. I really like the specific pair. So yeah, I'm gonna keep watching for sales. I'll let you guys know about sales because they're great quality jeans, really like the structure and how they're each made. Um, and I'm just excited to find some new favorite jeans. And I love that it seems like Abercrombie does sales pretty regularly. So that makes me even more happy. Really, really like the Tula Hydrating Day and Night Cream. And they had an awesome deal on this super size. So this super size is almost double the size of their regular one. And the price of this was just barely above the regular size one, if that makes sense. So it's almost like you were getting almost twice the amount of product for close to the same price, just a little bit more than the price of the smaller regular one. You get the idea. So this is a really nice moisturizer, very hydrating, really comfortable on the skin. It's got probiotic technology in it. So it um, delivers hydration and antioxidant protection, and then blah, 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 helps to improve skin's smoothness, suppleness, and youthful appearance. It also helps to reduce the appearance of dry, fine lines and wrinkles and delivers nourishing skin benefits. So awesome cream, really, really like it. And I loved the whole idea of getting like almost double, basically like almost 50% off is ultimately what the deal ended up kind of being. I ordered one of the Dulcura, Dulcura Cosmetics pressed highlighters. These are so pretty. She had a really good sale going on. So I got Calabaza, Calabaza. Her highlighters are beautiful. They are no joke, super pigmented. This one, I can't remember how she described the color of it, but to me, it looks like kind of a peachy, like a champagne peachy sort of a color. Her highlighters are like very metallic-y, really intense. So if you like an intense, beautiful highlighter, like a Wabam highlighter, I think you'd really like her highlighters. She's got a ton of different colors, so Good sale was going on, so I got another one. Black Friday has become when I stock up on a few more glitters from Eye Candy because they always do, I think it was 50% off the whole website. So I got some more glitters. I really, really like their glitters. I also ordered one of their liquid sugars. So this is basically a liquid that you dip your brush into and then you can dip it into a glitter and it just makes it super easy to work with them. So love this stuff. It is a great mixing medium for using with glitter. So I got another one of those. Here is the front of the box, super duper cute. And I got several different glitter colors and I didn't realize that a couple of them that I got, I already have. So I will keep that for a future giveaway. So bubble gum, super cute, kind of a, a bright, oh, I just ripped the box, how sad. A really pretty bright pink color. Hopefully this isn't one of the ones that I already have. Otherwise I just ripped the darn box. I can't remember which ones I already have. So there is bubble gum. I have to go check my eye candy cosmetic glitter supply. I got chocolate chip, which is a really pretty dark chocolatey brown. I am losing my voice from filming for a long time and talking nonstop. So this is a beautiful, 
dark brown. I think that one's going to be really fun for a, an intense, fun, smoky eye. I got Cherry Balm. This is basically like a red. I thought this one was awesome and something you don't see every day. Oh, look at that. So pretty. These are some of my go-to glitters because they're not crazy expensive. Like even regular price, I think they're like $8 a piece. So great price on them. This one is cotton candy. This one is sugar cane. And this one is butterscotch. All so fun. Ooh, I really am losing my voice. I just had a whole coughing fit just then. So we gotta get through this. Okay, y'all know my favorite, or maybe you know, my favorite wrap bracelets are Victoria Emerson. And I always have a coupon code with them, but they also do sales and they had awesome sales going on because their um, wrap bracelets are always a great price. I think they're usually around like 21 to $35. And some that I've seen at craft fairs can be upwards of 60, 70, $80. So that is a great price point for a handmade wrap bracelet. So even regular price, they're a great price point. Like I said, I always have a coupon code, but sometimes they do like 50% off sales, but they were doing sales where they were $12.99. So awesome price point. So I got three of them. I got this one that is a really pretty light turquoise, and then it's got little tiny beads. So it kind of has a mixture of regular beads and then the really tiny ones, just very boho. I liked how light colored it was, it has a pretty softness to it. I got this one, which is a really pretty pearl, like a dark iridescent-y sort of a pearl. Gorgeous. This one's kind of a little bit leather and lace looking, like it's girly but edgy too. So I really like that one. And then I got a true pearl one with, um, I think this is either called natural or white, the uh, cord that it's on. So pretty. So I love her wrap bracelets. I mean, I have not been disappointed with any of them that I've gotten. They're all amazing. So. Like I said, always such a good price point, but then you've always got coupons and sales and it's just amazing. And then last thing, Profusion had a 35% off sale and already their price point is amazing. So these were just super affordable. So I ordered a few more things. I got their rose gold sparkle set. So you get a liner, a palette, and then a two-sided brush. Awesome. I have the pink sparkle set and really, really like that one. I do notice that this glitter liner looks a little bit more uh, metallic-y, kind of more of a like a cream um, versus like more of a glitter. The pink sparkle set, it's a true like glitter. So I'll have to try it on my eyes to see if that's actually the case, but it looks a little bit more of like a metallic with some shimmer in it. So I was hoping that it was going to be more of a glitter, but we'll see. I'll get it on my eyes and see what it actually looks like. And then I got the Infatuation palette. The quality of these palettes is just amazing. I was gonna try to swatch it for you, but it's all sealed up. So I'll show you in a future video or use it and you know, I'm sure I'll love it. And then I can tell you about it in a Friday Favorites if I do love it. So this is what that one looks like, a fun kind of uh, maroony, purpley, rosy sort of a palette. These were super affordable. I think they ended up being around $3 a piece, which is amazing. I got the eyes <laughs> palette, just says eyes, nine color eyeshadow palette. Yeah, I don't see a name anywhere on it. So this is the eyes palette. <laughs> and then this is the eyes palette also. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, I don't see a name anywhere. That's cute. Okay, so this is the eyes eight shadow eyeshadow palette really pretty let me just open these real quick okay so open this one so let's swatch just a few of these see what they seem like very nice i will try these on my eyes i mean but for three dollars those look pretty good i am very impressed with profusion stuff i don't know how they do it at their price point because i mean they make some really good makeup so there is that one that's the eyes palette. And then let's look at the other eyes palette. <laughs> that makes me laugh so much, that is so cute. Okay, and then this one has kind of some fun, um, uh, I don't even know how to describe them. We've got, <laughs> don't mind the little plastic randomly hanging down. Let's just, let's take care of that real quick. Let's just get that off of there. Okay, so this one kind of has some more like jewel tones in it. At least this one's a little bit more jewel tone. These do have kind of a, a strange sort of a smell to them. So I'm not sure if that's the shadows or the palette, but kind of smells 
um, a little chemically maybe. So that's something to note about them. But look how pretty that is. I do have a video um, talking about the other holiday collection stuff that I have from them. So if you want to see some of their holiday collection swatch, you can check out that video. Wow, y'all. Whoa, look at that one and that one. Ooh, fun. So yeah, I think regular price, this palette is $5. So on the sale, it was even cheaper because I think it was somewhere around three or ish, something like that. So awesome. All right, guys, so that wraps up this haul. These are all the goodies that I got during the awesome sales. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please do a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what goodies you picked up during all the awesome sales. If you got any Christmas shopping done, I did do some Christmas shopping, but I'm not showing those things in this haul because some of those people watch my videos. So I'm not showing those, but I did get some gifts too. So let me know down below if you bought some things for yourself or for others. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye.